Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to make a freshers one pager data analyst resume and a resume that gets you selected for data analyst job role. And in between, you will also have some resume tips coming in. So let's get started. The first section is your personal details. You just have to mention your name, contact number, Gmail ID and your city with your country. If needed, you can add your LinkedIn and your GitHub links too. Now the number one mistake here is that these are the non-negotiable items on your resume but they aren't the most important one and that's why they shouldn't take up much of the space. The best idea to arrange them is in horizontal order separated by vertical bars. Done with the first section and here's where the mistake happens. So it's time for the first tip. Don't put horizontal lines after each section because application tracking system don't perform well with those making your resume rejected before even reaching the recruiter. Talking about lines, I would not recommend you underlines as well for the same reason. Moving on to the most important section as a fresher, which is your qualification. You must mention your qualification from highest to lowest and the format to use is completed degree name from college name with person's code and after that few tabs and then write the joining and the end date. And this brings us to the second resume tip which is to make space on your one pager resume. Over here you will find a lot of redundant margin spaces. Go to the layout margins and select narrow. Now we have a very thin margin in front of us. Another pro tip to save space on your resume is whenever in between lines you find big gaps, select the entire para, go to home tab, click on this icon over here and choose remove spaces between para. And here is a lot of space saved. Coming to the third section we have skills. Now here you must include all your skills from programming to theoretical to analytical. The best way to put your skills is in subsections like these. These are some of the headings of a data analyst resume can have and within each specify the tools and techniques you know. After this follows our tip number 3 when creating your resume look at the job description you are applying for you are applying for and extract some data analyst related keywords within it. Try to include those words like analysis, data, SQL, tableau, pivots, charts, these type of words multiple times in your skill section as well as your project section. This brings us to the project section itself. If you have any internship, it will come before the project section. But as a fresher, projects are your savior. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, then hit the like button as well. So try to include two to three of your best projects, each having a title, time when the project was done, links to the GitHub code or the portfolio website, and one to two lines describing how you used your technical and analytical skills in the project. For instance, a title of a Tableau dashboard project would be Build a COVID-19 Interactive Tableau Dashboard in May 2020. And the description talking about the data used, the tools and techniques used for the analysis, the goal and the result of the project and how the project was presented. Now comes the next section which is accomplishments. Now here what is to be included are the programming language certifications, competition winnings and voluntary certificates. What is not to be included here are competitive coding participations, open source contribution, grand level challenges because the place for all such huge achievements is at the top of your resume below the skills. For certificate, simply write successfully completed some certification from some university on some date. Now earlier, it's important to put in the brackets mention the duration of the course. Similarly, for winning, write one dash prize in dash competition in dash year. Before you leave, here's the final tip. Always submit your resume in a PDF format. For that, go to File, Export, Create PDF and Save. Follow these tips and make your job worthy resume and let me know in the comments if this video has helped you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more data analyst tips and free resources.